Well, hello everyone. I am Shirish, and welcome back to my channel. I am starting this new series discussing the new and upcoming careers, and also some of the most popular careers. Well, I got a ton of requests to start making videos on different career options, so here it is, the brand new series. Well, these are either the subjects that are completely new. These careers still pose a lot of questions whether one should pursue them or not. So in this series, I will clarify what exactly this career is all about. Why is it important for a society, job prospect with salary, and also I will give you a complete guide on how to get started should you choose to work on this career. Today, I have a very popular and upcoming career, data analytics. Yes, data analytics is a booming industry with the world's population creating a lot of noise for analysts. Analysts are in high demand to help make sense of the data. So if you're interested in working in this field, here is everything you need to know about data analytics. So let's get started with this video. Hi, I'm Shirish Gupta, and I empower people to hack their success, rise above the challenges, and confidently create an extraordinary life they deserve. The world is increasingly becoming a data-driven society. Data analytics has become one of the most important and booming industries because we live in the age where so much information is produced every day. The average person produces about 2.5 quintillion bytes of data annually. To put that into perspective, if you filled up 10 Olympic-sized swimming pools with 1 billion bytes of each data, that would be only 2.5% of world's data. That's mind-boggling. And this number is only going to grow as we become more and more reliant on technology. So this presents a huge opportunity for anyone looking to enter the workforce. Data analysts are in high demand to help make sense of this all big data. Data analytics is a multidisciplinary field and it's the next big thing for business. More and more organizations and businesses are lining up to reap its benefit through the insight into the vast area of knowledge they need for taking their business one step further. The rise of this particular field has led to a surge into data market in the last 10 years and opened up a lot of branch courses from this particular field that are becoming more and more popular. So what exactly is data analytics? Well, data analytics is the process of examining large data sets in order to uncover patterns and insights. Data analysts use specialized software to examine data and then present their findings in a clear, concise way. It includes the process of cleaning, changing, and processing raw data and extracting actionable, relevant information that businesses can use to make informed decisions. To further simplify, a lot of companies are collecting data every day, but not most of them know what to do with it. This is where data analysts come into the picture. A lot of businesses have started offering services to existing and new businesses to share this data that they have collected with them. Then data analytics take all the puzzle data and try to interpret it into simpler format that the business owner can understand and use these insights for their business. So they can make decisions that can further their business in more productive manner and at reduced costs. Let's understand this with an example. In hotel industry, when data analysts review data for past three years, they realize that there are not a lot of people coming back to stay with the hotel. So they use the data to detect a trend that there are not a lot of people with repeat customers. Now they use this information from data to create loyalty program, where they started rolling out royalty points for repeated stays in an effort to increase more business. Well, this was a smart move because now people who would stay with some other hotel would come back and avail loyalty point benefits, maybe lower member rate or 20% discount on food or other perks. This resulted in higher profits for hotel chain and with just one simple fix, they were able to attract brand loyalty. So see how useful this analysis could be in modern days. And this is a very small example to understand the use of data. When you look at it broadly, data is everywhere. So it has an infinite amount of uses as it is. The importance of data analytics in any sector is compounded, creating enormous quantities of knowledge that can provide useful insights into the field. It can help in many ways. Some of them can be increasing business productivity and efficiency, informed decision-making, enhanced security and risk management, customer personalization, and many more. Most of the companies have in-house data analysts these days. And that's why almost every big company has these available. The prediction for this job role is always believed to increase in the coming future. Some of the major companies that recruit data analysts are Essential, Oracle, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, Facebook, TCS, Deloitte, and many more companies like that. The average salary for a data analyst role these days in the job market for an entry-level data analyst is somewhere between 
60,000 to 100,000 US dollars annually. And experienced data analysts can go between 150 to 300,000 US dollars annually, which is very comfortable for almost everyone. Given then that it is one of the most popular fields at this time, a lot of universities are offering a lot of programs that can educate you to be a data analyst. Some such universities have, which are world-class programs, are Columbia University, New York University, CMU, Northwestern, Imperial College London, ESSEC, University of Melbourne, I am Calcutta. One recommendation from me, not all the programs will be the same when you look through them. Every university designs their courses based on their particular experience in the field. Some might include basic courses and some proven experiential experimental courses exclusive to that university. The basic output stays the same while the approach can be varied. I do recommend thoroughly going through the curriculum of each university before putting it down in your list of target colleges if you plan to do any degree related to that. Let's now talk about what skills, job responsibilities are required for this role and what an ideal workday for this profession looks like. Well, the most important skill you might need to work on is analytical thinking. Well, you need to be able to look at data and see the patterns and insights that are hidden within it. You can also need to be able to communicate complex ideas in a clear and concise way. And lastly, you need to be able to work with data. You need to be able to use software to examine data and extract the information you need. So here are the top four skills required for being a good data analyst. Number one is technical skills. Include knowledge of database languages such as SQL, R, or even Python. Spreadsheet tools such as Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets and data visualization software such as Tableau or Click. Second skill, mathematical and statistics. Mathematics and statistics skills are also very valuable to help gather, measure, organize, and analyze this data. Number third, problem solving and decision making. This can be a little bit interpreted into management skills as well. But as the role entails you, you really need to understand the problem and solve it for your client and then help them make the decision interpreting that data. Number four, excellent communication so that you are able to explain your approach more clearly plus connect easily with the clients to understand their requirements. Other basic skills can include research skills, creative and logical thinking, team working, attention to detail, writing reports, making presentations. Make sure to develop these skills if you want to be successful in the data analytics field. Well, now let's talk about roles and responsibilities of a data analyst. In the most simplest terms, the role of data analyst is to help make sense of the data. They work with businesses and organizations to help them understand what their data is telling them. According to Northwestern University, there are four major types of roles that one can take while working as a data analyst. Let's understand this with our hotel example earlier as well. The very first is to examine the data of what happened in the past. So for example, how many people stayed in hotel over past month, year, revenue generated, yearly website traffic and so on. This is initial stage known technically as descriptive analysis. Second is to interpret this collected data and how this can be used to make sense of the situation. Here it considers why something happened, finding the reasons. For instance, 80% of people were first time customer and there were not a lot of repeat customer. This is basically known as diagnostic analytics. You're going in depth and diagnosing the situation just as doctors do with a medical report or an x-ray. After that, one seeks to determine a likely outcome by reading it descriptive and diagnostic analysis. This helps an organization determine the cause of the positive or negative outcome and take steps to improve on it, well in time before any other harm can be done. For instance, how a hotel would have spent more money to attract new customers and how easy it is to target old customers because they already stayed with you. It's like predicting what can happen. Again, think about how a doctor would predict the consequences after reading your report. This is known as predictive analytics. Lastly, a data analyst will attempt to identify what business action you should take. So for a hotel example, it's like creating a loyalty program that benefits repeated stays in the hotel. This is like doctor prescribing you medicine and hence it is called prescriptive analysis. While this type of analysis brings significant value in the ability to address potential problems or stay ahead of the industry trends, it often requires the use of complex algorithms and advanced technology such as machine learning. So I would call it a more experienced role. So you might start with the first role doing a lot of descriptive analysis and then move on to higher level of diagnostic and so on. Think about these as 
entry level roles to experience level. Now let's discuss about how to build your career in data analytics. I will start with a few very basic tips like expand your knowledge, develop research skills, learn programming languages as discussed earlier section and have internship or job experience in the related field. Let me give you a roadmap for each one of you, for students in high school or school, for students in college and for working professionals who are interested to work in data analytics. If you're in school and you are somewhat sure to pursue data analytics or if you're a parent watching this video, I would recommend you to start by exploring a couple of month long introductory courses in online platforms like Coursera, edX. These courses will give you basic knowledge of what you will be studying in detail in college and help you solidify the further decision. Go for computer science, mathematics, statistics, finance or other related major for your college degree. And if you are not sure, let me tell you, it is absolutely okay to be indecisive at this stage. With so many career options and so many career advice from almost everyone around you, it is natural to get confused or indecisive. I would advise you to start small by taking a career course or a psychometric assessment. Now, we provide both. If you need to, click on the link and sign up for the psychometric assessment and let's do this systematic manner. I'm sure you will be able to pick the great career for you. Moving on. In college, I would recommend students to take up an internship along with online courses on Coursera and edX. Basically, you need exposure in this field and by taking up internships or maybe a job will help you build your profile. If you can get some time doing significant duties and learn more softwares used in this field, it'll be amazingly for you. If you're pursuing computer science, mathematics, statistics, then you are in the related field. But irrespective of what degree you're pursuing, you must do a master's in data analytics field. This will do a world of good for you. Again, if you need help in college applications, we can help you step by step as we are doing for the past 12 years with 100% results. For the ones who aren't sure whether you should take this course or not, I would recommend putting some time in between your graduation and post-graduation and get some experience in the field of data analytics before committing to it. Since analytics can require extensive computation, the algorithm and software used for analytics, a job or internship can put things in perspective for you. If you just passed out of your undergrad and don't want to put any distance between masters, try smaller internship with online courses to clarify your approach. Now for professionals who wish to make a career switch or want to enter the field. I would recommend starting small. Try to take some courses to learn more about the field along with the internship where you can learn and apply the knowledge. Once you have enough confidence in the subject and command on the required technical skill, start applying for bigger roles. I would recommend you to self-educate yourself with all the roles I explained in this video such as descriptive analysis, predictive modeling and more. With this planning, you can surely get your dream job in data analytics field. Alright guys, that's it for today. There is no shortage of jobs for skillful data analysts in whichever location you are around in the world. If you think you are intrigued by the role of data analyst and data duties it entails, data analytics is definitely a bright field and is surely a career for you. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Please make sure to support my work by liking and sharing this video and also subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon. And also tell me what do you think about this new series of career guidance. I will see you very shortly in the next video. Till then, take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.